having a successful attitude. It's right. pretty much not far off the same, is it? Aye, well, I, like, that, it's hard to tell somebody that when they're sitting there maybe six months, a, month, a year into their PT career and they're, they're not doing very well. But honestly, see if you just surround yourself with the right people, we'll cover that as well. Uh, you all have a successful attitude because there's a million clients out there for everybody. There's enough. Um, like, I would say, I've known Chris for, what, six, seven years. Um, I would always say you've had a successful attitude. I mean, I've had it for any, anybody, any guys in here who've played sports, you've got that kind of uh, attitude and that sort of will willingness to win. Um, and it's the same with PT, there's no difference. Like, um, celebrate your successes in business and whatever you, and use that to catapult you into the next chapter of what you're going to do. Um, Chris does a lot of self-development stuff. He reads a lot of reads a lot of books and uh, positivity and mindset. And you guys, you guys know that that's a big thing, not only for you and it's for your clients now as well. Um, but I've got a willingness to win. When I'm in that gym with 20 other PTs, uh, my first goal was to have the best classes. My second goal was to be the busiest PT. Um, and that's that's what I wanted to do. I it's their business and my business. That's just what I'm like. I'm competitive in that sense. So um, have that wee inner drive and have the like like with the booklets and stuff. When you write something down, vision that success because there's some of you guys here probably making two or three k a month, um, and you the thought of making five or six k, <coughs> and I'm, obviously it's not all about money, but you get what I mean. It's a business at the end of the day. Um, is yeah, how am I going to double my money? Um, it's doable. Trust me, it's, it's very, very doable. And if money's your motivator, then <laughs> uh, after today you'll see the steps and what you need to do in order to add that thousand or two thousand onto your monthly um, monthly income. Because it's doable, mate. Like you would have, like even though you did forty hours PT on paper, that sounds like four or five grand. You probably you were probably one making three and a half, four. Didn't even tell you, mate. Honestly. Aye, but it was crumbling Didn't under its you. arse, and uh, it was just cash. So he was like. Phew, Free hunter, free hunter, free hunter. Um, but it was the most unsustainable hang gone. I didn't have a wallet. I had all my money in my pockets. <laughs> it's all for it. Hey, <laughs> well, just, like a gangster or something. It just shows you, a drug dealer. Drug dealer uh, yeah. But I just having that success, successful attitude, and uh, there's various methods that out with the PT game that can help you with that. Um, and that's just self development. If you just if you watch stuff that develops you as, as a person, all oh, the Americans are all quite airy fairy with it all, but they are good. Do you know what I mean? They they kind of shoot for the stars, and if they can. I'm just back for Dubai and there's people who own yachts, do you know what I mean? And we're celebrating when we get a client buying a pair of trainers with it. Like there's people, you need to really think big here because there's a lot of money to be made if you just really apply yourself. What I would say about that as well, because we were kind of talking about the successes here, if you fail, it's not a bad thing either. Okay, like anything you fail in life, you just learn and then move forward for there. So when you fail, I always kind of think to myself, I'm never too high when I do something good and I'm never too low when I fail at something. I'm always just kind of the same. So we were, the, the, this night fit, me and Josh are running, the guy I run it by, we try to open up a big massive unit just down the road for where the boot camp is because we currently do it on an astro turf. So we had all this unit set up, big massive space, had all the plans to kit it out with like squat racks and designed a running track, it was all like for prowlers and had the logo on it and then told everybody about it, like literally it was in the paper and all that and then the council knocked us back at the last minute. The minute I got the phone call I just looked at Josh and went, it's done mate, who cares? It's my fault now, what are we going to do next? Do you know what I mean? Because that would have put a lot of people back, because I'm like, we've told everybody about this, like, <laughs> the whole of them fell in about it, so we're like, but as soon as, I, as soon as I hung the phone up to the guy, I was like, it's done, and that was it. Just move forward, what can we do next? Because that wasn't your fault, like, the council knocked it back, so. If you get if you get a failure like that, just, just get on with it. That's the way I am, I'm just like, fuck it. Yep, it's the same as me, I was about to become an uh, assistant manager, mate, do you know what I mean? When I've been to Dubai, though, that was the case, tell you that. I know. 